Okay, today we'll be learning how to nest in FlexiSign Pro. What we're doing here today is my own sign shop that I've just opened up. And this is a mock-up here. And let's see, let's go to Flexi and check it out. All right, what I've done is uh, my mock-up is all to scale. I measured the building, measured everything, double-checked, everything is looking good. These are about 18-inch letters, which I'm going to nest them to print the vinyl piece to stick onto my 2-inch foam, then I'll be hand cutting the foam, but today we're just covering nesting. So, what I've done is copy and pasted, now I'm going to turn it black, turn into a wireframe, now I'm going to, uh, this is the size of the piece of foam I have, it's, uh, it's 35 inches, it's 35 by 8 feet. <laughs> I'm just going to lasso everything here, all my letters, everything. And remember, everything's double checked to scale. We just need to get a uh, uh, get it printed on vinyl, stick it on the foam so we can hand cut it out. Now, all I do is go over to Arrange, go down to Nest, and as you see, there's some nesting properties here. I have it at a little bit over three quarters of an inch spacing. That way, when I uh, hand cut all the letters out, just to get them off the panel to be scroll sawed, I have plenty of space in case I catch an angle or something, I don't go into the uh, foam. However, you can do it any way you like. If you're using thinner foam, of course, you don't need such a uh, gap. I'm using two inch foam today. So everything looks good. I'll just uh, check the OK mark here, apply. Boom, it's applied. Zoom on out. There's all my letters nested. So what I do is I just grab them, bring them on in here, verification. They're all going to fit without any issue. All right, looking good. So we'll just uh, bring this to the printer. And it's all just ready to print. It's 35 inches wide. I'm going to print on some 54 inch media. And that's about as easy as it is to nest. Nesting is a breeze in FlexiSign Pro.